Hi there, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be talking about Lesson 3.1. This is going to be Day 4, um, our last and final day. And we're going to learn how to simplify expressions using the distributive property and adding more terms with that. Today in your notes, you're going to be looking for six things to try. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to write down is basically the same thing we wrote down yesterday, which are those steps for the distributive property. Again, go ahead and pause the video to write down step one, distribute the number, and step two, simplify the expression. Once you're done, click play. This first one you're just going to watch me do. So notice um, it's telling us to simplify the expression, and there's a number pushed right against the parentheses. Yesterday we talked about that. That means to multiply. So what's going to happen here is the two is going to multiply to the 4y and the positive 8. So 2 times 4y, just showing my work here, and 2 times positive 8. We still have a plus 10, so I'm going to bring that down as well. But the, notice the 10 is not in the parentheses, so the 2 does not distribute to it. 2 times 4y is 8y. 2 times 8 is 16, and then we still have that plus 10 or positive 10. What I'm going to do now is just put my like terms together. The only like terms I have here are 16 and 10, so I'm going to add those together, and I get 26 and then keep the 8y. So my final answer for this one, all the way simplified, would be 8y plus 26. Another one, again, you're distributing the number that's pushed right against the parentheses to adjust the things inside the parentheses. 7 times 2y and 7 times 8. 7 times 2y, 7 times 8. Minus 6 or negative 6 is on the outside, so I'm just going to leave that there. It does not change because there's nothing being distributed to it. Let's go ahead and multiply. 7 times 2y is 14y, and 7 times 8 is 56. I still have this minus 6 over here, so now I can think about combining like terms. The like terms that I have, again, are two constants, 56 and negative 6. When I put 56 and negative 6 together, I get 50. Now I have 14y plus 50. This one you're going to try, so let's go ahead and take the time now to pause the video so you can try to simplify the expression. Remember, distribute first and then simplify the expression. All right, here we go. We've got a 3 distributing to the q and the 1, so that means 3 times q and 3 times 1. The minus 4 will stay the same because there's nothing being distributed to it. 3 times q is 3q, 3 times 1 is 3, and minus 4 stays the same. Combining the like terms, I have 3 and negative 4 that need to be um, combined. That's going to give me a negative 1 because the larger value is negative, so I'm going to keep that negative. And then 3q is all by itself, so I'm just going to bring it down for my final answer to be 3q minus 1. You could have also wrote 3q plus negative 1. That would still be the same thing. Either one would be fine. How did you do? Here we go, let's try another one. Please be careful with this one because um, notice the number that you're distributing is the number that's pushed right against the parentheses and it's not just a, neg a regular four, it's in fact a negative four. Okay, so make sure when you're distributing this one, you're distributing a negative four to both thing and things inside the parentheses. I'm gonna ask you to pause the video just to try this one on your own and then click, click play so you can see what the answer is. Okay, so like I said before, negative 4 is pushed right next to the parentheses, so that's the only thing we're going to distribute here. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and do is just bring down this 7 so I don't forget about it. Negative 4 times 3 fourths. That's going to look like this over here. Negative 4 times 3 fourths, and you could do negative 4 over 1. If you multiply straight across, you're going to get negative 12 over 4, which is equal to negative 3. So negative 4 times 3 fourths x will give you negative 3x. I'm going to bring down my 7 just so I don't forget it. The next one I'm going to do negative 4 times negative 1 fourth. Again, I'm just going to show my work so you can kind of see it over here. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4 over 4. That is going to be equal to 1. So negative 4 times negative 1 fourth is equal to 1. Now I need to combine like terms. The only two like terms I have are this 7 and the 1. 7 and 1 are going to make 8, so my final answer will be negative 3x plus 8. 
Again, here's one that you're going to try. Pause it. Click play when you're ready to check. All right, the number we're distributing is negative 2. So negative 2 times g and negative 2 times 4. I still have this plus 7g, so I'm going to bring that down and then go ahead and work it out. Negative 2 times g is just negative 2g. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Still have a positive 7g. Now I need to combine like terms. My only two like terms are these g's right here, negative 2 and positive 7. Negative 2g plus 7g will give me 5g. And then I still have this minus 8, so I'm going to just bring down minus 8. Final answer, 5g minus 8. How'd it go? Again, here's one that you're going to um, distribute. This time you're distributing a fraction to numbers. Make sure you take your time and show your work with that. So go ahead and pause the video, try it. Once you're done, let's click play. All right, here we go. We're distributing negative 1 half to 6 in and negative 1 half to 4. So that means negative 1 half times 6 in, negative 1 half times positive 4, and then I still have a positive 2 in, so I'm going to just bring that down, plus 2 in. Negative 1 half times 6, that's going to look like this over here. Negative 1 half times 6 over 1, that's going to give me negative 6 over 2, which is equal to negative 3. So negative 1 half times 6 in will be negative 3 in. So essentially you're just dividing by 2. So you could do that same thing for this one. Negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Here's where I set up negative 1 half times 4 over 1. I get negative 4 over 2, which is equal to negative 2. Same thing. And then bring down my positive 2 in, and now I'm ready to combine like terms. The only like terms I have are negative 3 in and 2 in. Combining like terms, negative 3 and positive 2, I get negative 1 in, or you can just do negative in, and then bring down my minus 2. So you can write negative in, minus 2, or if you wanted to write negative 1 in, minus 2. Both of these mean the same thing, because remember, anytime a letter is by itself, like this negative in, that just means a 1 is in front of it, negative 1 in. Last one, again, pause it. Make sure that you only distribute what is right next to the parentheses and click play when you're ready to check. Okay, by now you, hopefully you've saw, seen that you are just distributing the 6 because the 6 is, to, is right next to the parentheses. So we're doing 6 times n and 6 times negative 4. This 4n will just stay by itself. 6 times n is 6n. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Still bring down that 4n and then combine like terms. 6n and 4n give me 10n. So 10n minus 24 is going to be your final answer. This is going to conclude our video today for lesson 3.1, day 4. Make sure you have all six things written down in your notes. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.